Imagine two skilled Swedes with great chemistry playing together on the Canucks top line. It's almost like it's happened before. Hey Canucks fans and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary. With the fifth overall pick in the 2017 NHL entry draft, the Vancouver Canucks selected Swedish center Elias Pettersson. And in this quick video blog, I'm going to give you five reasons why it was a great pick for the Vancouver Canucks. Now on Friday afternoon, I was driving home from work and listening to the draft on the radio. I couldn't get home in time to watch it on TV, but there were really no surprises in the first four picks. He sure, Patrick, Heiskanen, and then Makar. And yes, there was a little bit of hope that maybe Makar would have slipped to five for the Canucks, but no, the Colorado Avalanche ended up selecting him. So there I was, much like every other Canucks fan who was watching or listening, waiting and anticipating who the Canucks would pick with their fifth overall selection. And we knew that it was gonna be a center, given that Heiskanen and Makar were now off the board. And the four names that we'd been hearing a lot of in the past week were Cody Glass, Casey Middlestadt, Gabe Velarde, and Elias Pettersson. And I think the common sentiment, at least with a lot of people here in Vancouver, was that Cody Glass would have been the right pick for the Canucks. But similar to last year, where Ole Ulevi was the surprise fifth overall pick, the Canucks did not choose Cody Glass and instead chose Pedersen. Now I admit that I was slightly surprised. I knew way more about Glass than I did about Pedersen, but I made it my mission to go home and learn everything I could about him. And the more I learned about him, the more I liked this pick. So here are five reasons why the Pedersen pick was a good one for the Vancouver Canucks. Number one, Pedersen has a lot of skill. Hopefully you've seen some of his highlight videos. He's got wonderful hands, nice soft hands. He's got great vision, great patience with the puck is a good skater, and he's very creative offensively. He can shoot, he can pass, he can deke, and he can certainly score on the breakaway. I think you'd agree with me that the Canucks don't have enough of these types of players, so his skill set will be a welcome addition to the team in a few years. Number two, he's already been playing against grown men. Unlike the other three centers that I mentioned earlier, who are either playing in junior or in high school last year, Pedersen was already playing in the second tier league in Sweden. Now granted, these aren't the best players in the world, Heck, they're not even the best players in Sweden. But at least Pedersen already has a year of playing against grown men and bigger bodies under his belt. Number three is related in that the ceiling for Elias Pedersen is quite high. Next year, he'll be moving up a tier to play in the Swedish Elite League against some higher quality competition. Thus, when he comes to North America after next year, likely to start his career off in Utica, he'll already have two years of experience playing against men. Number four is admittedly a big one. It's his chemistry and his history with Jonathan Dahlin. They played together for the past year in Sweden, and there's a good chance that they'll again play together next year. And GM Jim Benning admitted that Pedersen's familiarity with Dahlin was a factor in drafting him. Imagine two skilled Swedes with great chemistry playing together on the Canucks top line. It's almost like it's happened before. And number five, Pedersen is quite likable. Go and check out some of the YouTube videos posted by the Canucks of Pedersen getting interviewed, of him being in media scrums, and of him even checking his phone right after he got drafted. He comes across as very likable, very humble, very genuine, and very honest and realistic. He knows that he's at least two years away from playing for the Canucks. He knows that he's gotta add about 20 pounds to his skinny frame, and he knows that he's gotta get bigger and stronger. Yes, Glass and Middlestad and Velarde may get to the NHL a bit sooner than Pedersen does, but for all the reasons I listed, his likability, his chemistry with Dahlin, his high ceiling, his experience playing against men, and most importantly, his wicked skill set. I think that we have a true, true, bona fide, potential elite player, an elite first line center in Elias Pettersson. Only time will tell, and he likely won't make an impact in the NHL, not for another three, four, even five years down the road. But imagine a top six in a few years of Horvat, Berchi, Besser, Godobin, Dalin, and now Elias Pettersson. Sounds pretty good to me. Canucks fans, I wanna hear what you think about this pick. Did you like it? Do you wish they picked someone else? Are you gonna be patient enough to wait for him to fully develop? I invite you to leave your comments below and I invite you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. God bless and go Canucks go.